John Lewis is a retail group under a cloud. It's private club on the banks of the Thames, the scenic setting for a difficult meeting for chairwoman Dame Sharon White. <laughs> Facing votes of confidence in her leadership from staff, known as partners, who also own the business, she sought to reassure them they would remain the boss. The John Lewis partnership will always be an employee-owned business. A model is the very reason I joined the partnership because I believe profoundly in an approach of kinder capitalism in the 21st century that demonstrates our ability to combine commercial excellence with social purpose. It was enough to win their support to take the company forward, but not to avoid defeat on her performance last year when John Lewis lost more than £230 million and she raised the prospect of seeking outside investment for the first time. For the former boss of media regulator Ofcom, who has no previous retail experience, it's a rebellion that increases questions about her leadership. I personally uh, believe that you have to have an absolute focus on the trading success. When the glory years of John Lewis, many people have been very kind about the years where uh, we were doing very well and getting a good financial return. It was an absolute obsession on satisfying our customers. For decades, a retail bellwether that clothed, furnished and reflected middle-class Britain, John Lewis has been hit by competition online and the high street, while its Waitrose customers have sought cheaper options. The reality is that when we get to a cost of living crisis, what matters is the best prices all the time. And, you know, what value do we put on values? I think that's an interesting question about how much we're prepared to pay. But unless John Lewis reminds us why they're better, why they're different, and why it's worth shopping with them, we will disappear. John Lewis's business model is unique. It gives its staff benefits like access to this place and the power to hold management to account. Now, these votes were non-binding, purely symbolic, but they are a clear expression of concern about whether the current leadership has the know-how to preserve what makes it different in a harsh business environment. Hey, Ellie. Hi. From crockery to Christmas ads, John Lewis is an institution, but it wouldn't be the first to discover there's no room for sentiment on the high street. Paul Kelso, Sky News in Cookham.